Pag-usapan natin ngayon ang tungkol sa anti-lag and anti-LN. So, ibig sabihin, you have to get for the value of x in the given. So, we have here the example of logarithm of x is equal to 2.9350. So, we have to get for the value of x in this case. So, ang gagawin natin dito is we have to raise the given to the base uh, of 10. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng 10 and 10 dito. Since ang reciprocal ang base of 10 ay reciprocal siya ng logarithm so magka-cancel tayo dito. So cancel tong log at saka yung 10. So gagawin tayo dito ng x is equal to 10 raised to 2.9350. Then we have to get for the value of your x. Your x uh, gamit lang tayo ng calculator to find for the value of your x. So, in this case, makakaroon tayo ng ipindutin lang natin yung ship tapos lag then 2.93 2.9350 yan, tapos yan lang natin sya i decimal. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 860.99 or your x should be rounded up. So, magkaroon tayo 861. Next given is we have the len ln of x is equal to 2.0794. So, para matanggal natin yung ln at matira lang yung x is uh, reciprocal ng ln i e. So, gagalagyan natin ito ng e tapos e. So, cancel out. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng x is equal to e raised to 2.0794. Kapit ulit tayo ng calculator to find for the answer. So, magkakaroon tayo ng sh shift tapos e 2.0794. So, magkakaroon tayo ng sagot na 7.94. 999 or rounded up magkakaroon tayo ng x is equal to 8 so the topic na meron tayo dito is the solution of logarithmic equation in this logarithmic of uh, solution of logarithmic equation kukuha din tayo dito ng value ng x example meron tayo ang given dito is logarithm of the quantity of x minus 2 with the base of 4 is equal to 2 now to find for the value of x kailangan natin i-transform ang given natin sa exponential equation. So, to transform, magkakaroon tayo dito ng 4 squared is equal to x minus 2. Then, yung 4 squared ay ating uh, simplify, which is uh, 4 squared is 16 is equal to x minus 2. Then, transpose yung negative 2 doon sa left side. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 16 plus 2 is equal to x. So, therefore, yung x natin is equal to 18. Okay, next given we have here the logarithm of x with base of 2 plus logarithm of the quantity of x minus 1 base of 2 is equal to 1. Now, in this case, kailangan muna natin i-transform ang given natin or i-simplify ang given natin under the log uh, properties ng logarithm. So, since meron tayong plus, this will be under siya ng multiplication. So, magkakaroon tayo ng logarithm base of 2 x times x minus 1 is equal to 1. Then after this, uh, pwede natin i-transform ang given natin sa exponential. So this will be 2 raised to 1 is equal to x times x minus 1. Then 2 raised to 1 is 2 is equal to distributive property. So mag-aaroon tayo ng x squared minus x. Then after na, transpose natin yung 2 doon sa right side. So this will be 0 is equal to x squared minus x minus 2. So, since may x squared tayo, gamit tayo ng factoring. So, this will be a under ng general trinomial. So, this will be x and x. A factor is negative 2 and positive 1. So, negative 2 times positive 1 is negative 2. Tapos, negative 2 plus positive 1 is negative 1. So, apply the zero property. So, magkakaroon ka dito ng x minus 2 is equal to 0. Then, x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, we can have the x is equal to positive 2. 
and x is equal to negative 1. So, dalawa yung magiging value ng x natin. Isang positive 2 at saka isang negative 1. Next given, we have the logarithm of x plus, the quantity of x plus 2 minus the logarithm of x is equal to 2. So, napansin natin wala tayong base. Pero, pag wala tayong base, ibig sabihin meron tayong invisible 10 dito. So, magkakaroon tayo dito. Since uh, the given is uh, may minus, so, under siya ng division. So, pag inano natin siya, uh, sinimplify, magkakaroon tayo ng logarithm of x plus 2 over x is equal to 2. So, since meron itong invisible 10 dito, so, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, 10 raised to 2 is equal to x plus 2 over x. Then, 10 raised to 2 is 100 is equal to x plus 2 over x. Then, cross multiply. So, multiply lang natin yung x doon sa 100. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng 100x is equal to x plus 2. Then, by transposition, so, magkakaroon tayo dito ng 100x minus x is equal to 2. Start lang natin dito. You can have 100x minus x is 99x is equal to 2. Since we are getting for the value of your x, divide natin siya ng 99. So, cancel out. So, this will be x is equal to 2 over 99. Okay, next given is we have the 3 raised to x is equal to 5. Now, to solve in this case, di natin siya pwedeng i... walang possible base na magtutulad kay 3 at saka kay 5. So, to find for the x, the way natin dito is erase natin ang given natin sa log. So, this will be logarithm, tapos ito ay logarithm. Tapos, since meron na tayong logarithm, mag-apply tayo ng property again. So, this is the power property. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x logarithm of 3 is equal to logarithm of 5 or log of 5. Then, since we are solving for the value of x, divide natin yung given ng log of 3 over the log of 3. Then, cancel out. So, your x is equal to logarithm of 5 over the log of 3. Now, kukuha tayo ng value ng log of 5. So, x is equal to, the rhythm of 5 is, uh, kapag kinalki natin, kakaroon tayo ng log of 5. So, log of 5 is 69.90. So, this is 0 0.6990 over the logarithm of 3 is 0. 47.71 So therefore, yung x natin divide lang natin So magkakaroon tayo ng x is 0.6990 divided by 0.4771 So the answer will be 1.47 So 1.47 47. So, yun yung magiging sagot. Okay, next given is it, we have the ln of x plus the ln of 8 is equal to 0. So, this is under ng uh, multiplication kasi meron tayong plus. So, simplify lang natin. Kapag simplify natin yung given, this will be ln of 8 x kasi 8 times x is 8x is equal to 0. Then, para matanggal natin yung ln, erase natin yung given natin sa e kasi they are the maka, they are reciprocal of ln. So, cancel out this. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 8x is equal to e to the 0 i 1. That's the value of your e to the 0. Then, divide both side by 8 kasi x ang kinukuha natin. So, cancel out. So, your x is equal to 1 over 8. My next given is e raised to 2x is equal to 8. So, ang kailangan naman natin tanggalin dito is yung e. 
So, para matanggal natin yung E, kailangan natin siyang lagyan ng LN. So, LN. So, cancel out. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng 2X is equal to LN of 8. Then, divide both side by 2. Para makuha yung X. X is equal to LN of 8 over 2. Tapos, gamit tayo ng calculator para makuha natin yung value ng ln of 8. So, kakaroon ng ln of 8. That is will be 2.0794 divided by 2. So, pag divide natin siya sa 2, so divided by 2. 2.0794 divided by 2. So, ang answer natin is 1.0397.